Hi, this is my hack for spring angel hack here in New York City. Um, I wanted to work with uh, enhanced vision to uh, computer vision. Uh, what I'm wearing here is uh, the Google Glass wearable computer. And what I've written is an, an app for medical purposes that should help nurses to give people flu injections and IVs and and other things like that, uh, more efficiently, less pain, uh, quicker, easier for the patient. So the first thing is I have sort of an overlay map, and you can see as I tilt my head up and down, it scrolls across that map showing a particular vein. And you can actually move the Google Glass down your nose and in front of your eye, and line up your hands with that map, and then look up and down, and see it overlaid on your arm. So this is a, a cool possibility for a food glass that hasn't been explored yet. The fact that you can look through it and use it as sort of like a, a jeweler's uh, little eyepiece to, to get some enhanced information. This particular app has um, several other features as well, um, such as vein highlighting as well, which is some more computer enhanced vision, uh, checklists for giving IVs and flus, flu shots, and there's another hidden feature that I don't enable on the Google Glass when the app has detected that. So let's take a look at it running on some other apps, some other devices as well. So here's the HTC One. And we'll fire up the app. And go into the next mode, which is uh, vein highlighting. So in this mode, Various uh, computer vision algorithms are run on camera data coming into the device. And it works on Google Glass and Android phones and other devices. So you can see here it's just zooming in on a little section. But what I wrote today um, from that sample is this color stretch mode where you can give it a little square and then it'll enhance all the colors in square. And you can see normally my skin is pretty bright red, but right where the veins are, it's blue. So this makes it real easy to tell where a vein is. Uh, my mother is an RN and uh, doing some research online, it can take up to 10 minutes to find a, a good vein to inject someone with, into uh, for nurses. And it can be uh, painful for the patient if the, the vein slips out of the way. Um, as uh, the nurse is trying to inject into that vein. So this could uh, really help a uh, common medical procedure be improved. One of the sponsors today was Amazon, who gave like a, a really good talk about uh, tablet compatibility. So we also run on Amazon. In this particular device, the, the checklists work really good. So here's an example of a, a checklist for a nurse performing a flu shot. The, the, style, the, the vial should have been stored a certain way and transported. And then the, the actual steps uh, for administering involve you know, shaking the, the vial. And you know, those are particular syringes and gloves that should be used. Um, there are studies that have shown that you know having checklists can actually uh, improve care, uh, even if the nurses actually know the procedure. It still you know, it prevents just common human error to you know, go through a checklist, much like uh, pilots do before going on a plane. Um, 
Another one of our sponsors was uh, Microsoft and PayPal. So if I go to this last option for checking out patients, I have uh, a bunch of PayPal buttons posted on a Microsoft Azure uh, cloud web server. So now I'm on the Azure cloud web server and I can uh, just check out the patient and let them pay simply and easily using PayPal. This is a lot like how on Apple and their retail stores now they can check you out with just a, a device standing right in front of the accessory rack or uh, wherever you purchase, right? It's just amazing how easy it is nowadays. And last but not least, we have, uh, I'm also working on a Windows Phone 8 version. So I've been getting everything working there. Um, but so far I have the the checkout section and uh, the checklists. So here's a Windows 8 app. You can see the, the checklists here. And it was uh, surprisingly easy getting that, that running inside a uh, Windows Phone 8 app, which uh, is treating all languages a little more equally nowadays. So it's very easy to use C Sharp or HTML and JavaScript. And it, Piled into the common language runtime and things like that. Okay, well, I hope this was um, exciting that we, we got some new image processing ground broken with the, the Google Glass and some uh, other Android devices. And thanks for watching.